Hi guys, today I thought I would um, do like an introduction because uh, those of you that are watching me are no longer all of my family who already know me. So, um, hi, I'm Kat, short for Katrina. I'm a 41 year old American who moved to Denmark in 2007 when I married my husband. We have one teenage daughter who uh, is also an artist, mostly digital, but uh, she also does a lot with acrylics. My house is full of paintings. Um, at some point I might even try to like do like a draw my daughter's art kind of thing just because some of her stuff is really good, but I would probably do it more on like pencil and paper as opposed to digital for instance. Um, what else? I thought I would just share a bit about my personal art journey. I saw a video not too long ago where someone was talking about art trauma and it it actually made me realize that I have had two major art traumas in my life. The first one when I was a teenager was, um, was pretty bad. I had a family member, well it wasn't really a family member, it was someone who was dating a family member who um, destroyed all of my art and basically told me that I wouldn't amount to anything. And that was really painful. And it took me several years before I even picked up a pencil again to draw anything. Um, but my mom was great. She was really trying to encourage me a lot to do, to do art. I think she still has maybe some small things of my stuff, but uh, like I, I think I painted a mirror at some point. I think she still has that. Uh, then a few years later when I did start drawing again, um, we had had a house fire and I pretty much lost everything again. And that hurt. So it took me quite a while and I've been on and off again with art for a very, very long time. I mean, I'm in my forties and I, I think the last thing I drew before I started this was in 2017. And before that it was like 2014. So, but I thought I would uh, end this off with um, showing you guys the stuff that I have, that I've saved from those periods, and then show you some of the stuff that I've done, even though I know some of it's on YouTube and some of it's on my Instagram. I figured this would give you guys a, an insight as to who I am as an artist. Can I call myself an artist? I don't know, but I don't, I, imposter syndrome much? I, that's what I feel like, <laughs> I feel like it's imposter syndrome. Um, but I'm gonna turn my camera around and I'm gonna show you guys because I have this, uh, I, I, I have a stack and, uh, yeah. So this is my stack of stuff and I think I'll start with these so I can put them back where they go so they don't get ruined. Um, I'm, these are things I'm currently working on. This is a picture of my mom's cat. I think I made it too small and I think I need to make it bigger because, but his eyes are so gorgeous. His name is Smokey and he's a giant ball of floof. He looks fat, but he's just really, really furry. And then this is just a practice piece that I'm working on. It's a picture of my friend's dog. And it's in pastel pencils. I'm gonna put these ones away really quick because I don't want them to get ruined. I'm just gonna put them up on the shelf up here. Okay. So then these ones will look in after. It's just sketchbooks, right? And that's another sketchbook. Okay. So in here, which is just a piece of paper that I took out of a book, I have a stack of things I did for me. Pigeon, Leader, Pigeon Letters Creative Art Retreat 2022. I don't remember the exact dates, but it was really, really early on in... It was really early in February, March, something like that. These were some uh, make Polaroids. Uh, with watercolor as a landscape and a galaxy and a cityscape and this one was supposed to be Aurora Borealis but I I don't know what happened the water and the I had issues I'm still learning but it's 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 fun process and then this one was a galaxy or supposed to be a galaxy this was just like practicing brush strokes there's quite a few of these in here this was some watercolor trees. This one 
was fun to do and uh, if you check my Instagram the artist is tagged so because uh, I, I don't remember exactly who this is from this one was also pretty fun it was also it was a different artist I'm not sure if I posted this one or not this one I didn't finish because I couldn't get the paint to mix how I wanted it to in my palette so it was supposed to be a boat in here and this is just more brush stroke practice these were um, also that same thing, but it was with um, Christy Rice. She also has a channel here on in, on uh, YouTube with um, called Paint Crush with Christy Rice. It was about mixing the watercolor on the paper instead of on the palette, which was really fun. And I think that was all I had saved from... Oh, there's also this one. But I think this was more about testing out different methods of doing stuff. I tried to use both sides of some of these because... I didn't want to waste the paper. Watercolor paper is expensive. I didn't want to waste the paper. Then uh, I had gotten into a pastel class, and I'm going to save this one over here so I can show you guys the difference. We'll talk about that one later. <laughs> this is the um, Derwent charcoal pencils that, uh, there's a video here. It's long and slow, but it, some, some people like it. I like it when you, the little scratchy sounds of paper pencil against paper. It's relaxing. Then I have some of the Ink Tense video ones here. This was uh, me testing out Ink Tense on pastel mat. It takes a very long time to dry and this is just like a five minute sketch of a bird and charcoal pencil. And then this is Ink Tense mixed with gouache on black watercolor paper. These are coloring sheets. Um, watercolor coloring sheets. This one is not from the Inktense video. This was me just testing out uh, Pandora watercolors, Van Gogh watercolors, and then uh, my daughter's Ecoline watercolors. I don't think I have a video for this one. But these are the watercolors. The blocks, pencils, and pans of the Inktense on the coloring sheets because I wanted to see if, if, they're, if they looked different based on how I used them. But yeah, that's in the video. This was a watercolor that I was trying to do myself, and I didn't like how this was turning out, so I stopped. And, uh, I like this part, so, I mean, I might try and redo this again, but maybe just use some different colors. This is two cans that, I think it was, I don't remember when I did this. But for some reason I really wanted to draw two cans, and I, I just looked up a random picture on, um, Google image search or Pinterest or something. And, uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not doing anything with it. I'm, it's just for me. So, but yeah, this is posted on my Instagram. Um, I did this one right when that stuff started. This is from a YouTube video that I was watching, like a, like a tutorial about not rinsing the water. Or not rinsing your your watercolor brush in water between colors and like just letting them do their thing and i think it turned out pretty pretty interesting i mean i wasn't really going for any kind of you know composition it was just me testing out supplies and i was like pleasantly surprised to see that the colors didn't totally turn into mud this was a tutorial uh that i watched on neurographic art and it was a very long one where but it was actually very um therapeutic the tutorial was very um it wasn't just oh you just have to do this and connect she had like a lot of like um meaning behind them uh because i think it was like doing the real neurographic art not just doing the design this was done in my polychromos pencils back in the big the end of january yeah, I think it was the end of January because it was just before I decided to start my YouTube channel. This is uh, my pa my oil pastel parrots. And I think they're kind of funny because this one's over here looking like I'm up to something and this one's like, what do you think you're doing kind of thing. Although his eye got a little bit um, smudged. But that's okay. I might revisit this at some point and add some more details. But I mean, the paper's not the greatest. And then this one, so I'll go back to this one now. So there's this with, um, I was, I, I 
I found this w workshop online on Facebook with this artist named Sabine Lackner. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, she's an amazing, amazing pet portrait artist. Well, at least that's all I've seen of her stuff is pet portraits. And she held this free workshop for four weeks where we had a whole bunch of videos where we could just train off of and watch and we would have like a meeting every week to discuss our progress and be able to ask questions and it was amazing. And I went from doing this because I did this just before that class started to this was like the assignments with her guidance. And then this was like our final project. And I mean, the, the difference is astounding. I mean, it just... It's just astounding. But I didn't really have pastels when I first started, so I had tried doing them with colored pencil and it didn't work, so I finally got some pastels and with the pastels it was so much better. And it's funny because I hated pastels as a kid. Despised them. I thought they were like chalky and greasy. I just didn't like them. But the ones that I'm using now, I mean I have um the Derwent and I have some pit pastels and I have two sticks of Schminka, but that's just two sticks, it's a black and a white. So they are amazing and it's so much better when you have the right supplies but this was this the progress was just so much and I'm actually taking another course from her in um, March no not, not March in, the, in two weeks May it's May now brain not functioning but that's like my bigger stuff from recently and then because we're in the recent category. Uh, this is a origami flower. And then my wizard props and pencil that I did, and then I colored them. I don't think I filmed the coloring of them, but I colored them, some of them. This is just a flower I saw on Pexels. And then that one's not important. It's a design I'm working on for my brother. This is more stuff from the Pigeon Letters Retreat. There was like cactuses and um, this like botanical watercolor collage that I didn't get to make, but I kind of followed what I could of it so I could make it later. And it was by, by Julia Malesia. And then uh, this website is from Bits of Ivory and it's like this little gnome. And this was just me doing some doodles. This was from David Dreisel. Something like that. I can put a link to his um, YouTube down below. Um, he does this sketch like an architect series. And he also has like this um, once a month little like tutorial thing that he does, which is pretty nice. This is uh, on perspective. It was like a really long video from one of the YouTube channels where they do like this live stream, but it's just the same video on repeat. And it was just that. So, and there's nothing else in this one. This one's empty. And then in here we have this that I just doodled around with with some Tombow markers. And there's nothing else there. Hold on. Some of these are just, um, what do you call them? Swatches for things and just like where I just scribbled over stuff. This I did with the Derwent uh, Graffiton pencils. I'm not entirely thrilled with it and I might do it again, maybe on some different paper. See, it's just flower. Some things from videos I haven't posted yet. Oh, this is uh, after the videos, me trying out different stuff. And then this is just some Graffiton swatches. That's just a seashell. And this is, uh, I don't even remember what this is. Uh, I took some shavings of something and then I took Gamsol on a paintbrush and I just like went up and down on them. I kind of like how it turned out. They didn't totally dissolve, so I'm wondering if they were colored pencil. I don't know, but it looked kind of cool, so I just left it. Um, this is just swatches, and this is just me being bored and weird, I think. So that was what's in that one. 
And this one, there's not really that much in here. It's just it's a watercolor sketchbook. It's just swatches of my watercolors and some random pictures. And then this one I'm working on currently. It's uh, It was meant to be like a tutorial for Inktens that was on the Derwent uh, YouTube channel. But I am doing it in the Derwent charcoal. I'm just not done with it yet. And then in this one, this one's a bit of a mess. So I started this, I haven't finished it yet. I will eventually, I just, st I stopped feeling it. So I just stopped, And but I'll go back to it eventually. It's tape, taped off, which is why it looks all messy. This was from the pigeon letters thing. Uh, I just didn't get a chance to do it when we were doing the, the lives. So I did it later. That's just scratch paper. That's just scratch paper. This was my personal circle challenge. And then I kind of like did different things in with the circles and kind of colored them in so they look like objects. Hold on, because there's some in here that I haven't put the video out yet and also a couple in here that are not YouTube friendly. <laughs> So then there's this one, that's the watercolor, uh, yeah, that's the watercolor doodle thing that I did. I'm gonna have to do some more of those, that was kind of fun. And there's not really anything else in here except for swatches. I mean, I try to keep all my swatches dry, but I, scr I scribble in the other ones too, I'm horrible. Oh, well, this was more of that, um like brush testing stuff with uh, with either YouTube tutorials or with the pigeon letters thing. Yeah, and the rest of this is just color swatches. There's nothing else in here except color swatches. And a mixing chart for my watercolor that I haven't finished yet because I'm, I'm a little lazy. Then we kind of get into the old stuff. And this is the stuff, some of this is from 2017, some of this is from 2014. This is one of the very last things that I did in 2017. It is done in a fountain pen. And then this is an unfinished sketchbook, basically, that I'll just like kind of skip through. I'm just gonna coffee. I'm a little bit um, coffee obsessed. Mm must have coffee. This is an unfinished owl face, an unfinished flower. This was an unfinished um, attempt at another coloring page kind of thing that I was working on. Oh, and like random doodles on the other side. Some, some do, some don't, just random stuff. This is another picture that I might do something with later. This is an owl on like a book with a candle behind him and then there's like a, a moth. He's trying to eat the moth or he's watching the moth. I don't know. I was, I was still obsessed with birds. Um, I saw a lot of these at some point so I decided to try to draw one. It's very, very messy but it was fun and there's a plant on the other side. This was a... from a reference picture. And I don't know what kind of bird it is, but it was uh, it was fun. And there's just some random bugs on the back. This one was a budgie. Nothing on that one. A bunch of flowers in a field. An art game with my daughter. Random stuff. An owl. And an attempt at a cat from 2017. <laughs> This is uh, what I based the mushroom picture off of. It was one of my things that I didn't finish from this sketchbook. Mushrooms that I drew from a book here that my husband had in Danish that I can't couldn't read at the time. Um, after just mushrooms. It's an old book though. And then it's just a flower. A weird flower. And then there's like this weird creepy face on the back. <laughs> it's sketchbook though, right? Then there's uh, birdhouses that I never finished and never really 
figured out what I wanted to do with. And this is from a bigger book. So this is also from 2017, just some random designs. And again, I didn't finish it and I, I, I should have. This one was finished. This is done with the uh, Derwent Colorsoft colored pencils just on their own. Um, I didn't use any kind of um, solvent or anything like that. I didn't even know what solvent was back then. And yeah, so that was just uh, some daffodils. Or are those daffodils? I think they're daffodils. Easter flowers? I don't know. But there, we had them. We had some and I, yeah. This is yeah that. These are from 2014. And it is just uh, some random coloring pages that I made for my daughter. Uh, don't mind the writing on them. I took the pages out of an old an old journal that I had predated, and then I didn't write anything in them. So I'm sad. I know. There's nothing on the backs of these. It's just because the I used uh, pens and it leaked through. So this is just uh, random designs. And this one is also just, I guess it doesn't matter which direction, but I kind of like it this way more. And then there's this one. And this is just in ballpoint pen. And this is also just a, a random sketch in pen, shaded in pencil. This was a coloring page I was making for my daughter, but I never finished it. Like I said, there's writing on them. Some of them. There's another coloring page. And another coloring page. And another coloring page. And this one I might, um, I might actually try to paint or something. I kind of like this part up here. Not so much this, but like this part. And I kind of like it. So maybe. This was a project that I did with my daughter and her friends. Uh, watercolor eyes. And it was really fun trying to like blow these with straws to make the little streamers. So I kept mine. I have my daughter's too. It's in the basement somewhere. This is soft pastels. Uh... Apples is one of the tutorials in the books that I bought. At some point I'm gonna do like a book tour so that you guys have an idea of the books. Most I think you guys have seen all the books in the little snippet that I made when I first started my channel. But I think at some point I need to do like a whole going through them all and so you guys know for sure what they are because there's a lot. And then this is um, pears in oil pastels. It's not very good. I might try to redo this. It was kind of fun to try. And then I got really obsessed with trying to draw hands. There was like 10 pages of these at some point, but I only kept the one. And this is oil pastels, or not oil pastels, soft pastels, like paper castel, soft pastel, like the kid kind, on really crappy paper. And this is the same, and I don't think there's anything else in here. So, yeah, I mean, so that's that's the art that I have, that I have managed to save for now. And uh, I hope that gives you an insight onto where I've been, and uh, hopefully where I might be headed. Uh, if this uh, if this was something you enjoy and would like to see more of as I progress, let me know. And if you'd like to see the book tour, let me know down below. And also if anybody's interested in seeing the art supplies that I have that have been collected over very many years, um, let me know down below in the comments and I will see what I can do. I hope you guys have a really great weekend and I will see you on Monday. Bye!